Hey, what is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be talking about the future of vlogging cameras. Now, I'm not talking about the standard typical vlog setup with your DSLR and Gorillapod or your gimbal and your phone. No, this is going to be something a little bit different that I think is coming and coming soon. So without any further ado, let's get into it. We're all familiar and we all shoot on basically the same platform. We have some sort of Gorillapod stabilizer that holds phone, GoPro, DSLR, or mirrorless camera. What I suggest in the near future is we're not gonna be filming with cameras at all. In fact, we're not even gonna be holding our arms out at arm's length with some sort of camera or stabilization device. What I propose and what I suggest is coming up in the near future is as you may know or you may not know, Microsoft partnered up with DJI and what this means is they're offering their Azure IoT Edge cloud-based technologies platform and in fall of 2018 they're going to open it up to the SDK for developers. Now what does this mean and why do drones have anything to do with my next vlogging camera? Well hear me out on this. Because this is going to open up a developer platform and because DJI is already in the works with some of the best drone technologies and some of the best follow me modes, I propose that we're not even going to have handheld devices for vlogging anymore. I suggest that we are going to be using drones in follow me mode with our best lav mics and we are going to be able to walk, talk, and go on with our daily vlogs without even holding up an arm. I know it seems pretty archaic that gone are the days or soon gone are the days where we are using our hands to hold up our cameras. Yes, I know it's very taxing. Uh, my arm's getting tired as I speak. But anyway, what Azure is, is a cloud-based technology. What it's going to offer is advanced artificial intelligence with machine learning. Now, what does this mean? This is going to offer DJI and DJI drones more enhanced ability and learning capabilities to not only track you, but track you better. But what happens is sometimes their algorithms get messed up and it loses track of you and it loses track and maybe goes and tracks a car or a kid on a bicycle. So with this machine learning and the internet of things, it is gonna allow developers, and it's not only gonna allow DJI developers, it's gonna allow Microsoft and Azure developers to better enhance the SDK for DJI drones. Now, mainly it's gonna start off on the enterprise level with enterprise level tech and enterprise level coding, but what that's gonna allow it to do is to trickle down into the consumer market and allow us consumers the ability for enhanced artificial intelligence and enhanced machine learning, which is exciting because in their press release, Microsoft showed not only the 210 RTK, but they showed the Mavic Air as being one of the developer options so that you can take that drone and start your development SDK coding. So this greatly excites me because I'm a big fan of DJI and a big fan of DJI Tech and the fact that Microsoft has jumped on board with DJI not only shows what the future holds, it's also showing what's in store for drones. This is going to expedite the FAA process and how they look at drones and this is going to hopefully further hammer in the nail that drones are here to stay and drones are our friends. The capabilities for drones are endless. The partnership with DJI along with Microsoft literally shows that there is no end in what these capabilities hold for the future. So that gets me excited. I hope it gets you excited and I hope you enjoyed this video. That's going to wrap it up. But hopefully soon gone are the days that we are taxing our arms, holding these archaic devices so that we can press on into the future and utilize drones to their full potential and utilize the follow me mode with these advanced learning technologies. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.